Hey everyone, welcome to 5.7 Japanese. I'm gonna show you a speciality of this fighter that other Japanese fighters don't have. That is um, basically forcing enemies to compress at high speeds so you can force overshoots, so you can get an advantage position. So remember, the LF can now turn you. So look what I did before. I gain speed, then I maneuvered. Gain speed, maneuver. That's all we're gonna be doing. And the LF is one of the fighters that can outturn you. Remember, the N1K is a great fighter. It can it can energy fight. It can turn fight. It can it can actually turn fight Griffins, but the lower tier spits will outturn you. So that's why I want to uh, give you a counter maneuver to dealing with uh, situations like that. Anyone who played this fighter, you guys know it's an amazing fighter. But I wanted to add. Um, uh, add something in this video that's going to help you to deal with a uh, little bit more peskier turn fighters. So in the next scenario, like this scenario here, it's the perfect situation. He's behind me. I gain speed. I'm going to show you in the next situation where it's not the perfect uh, scenario. Remember, even at almost at the same altitude, they have better vertical turning. They have better um, <laughs> flat turn they, they're just better turners so before you engage look what I'm doing I'm gaining speed when you gain speed and maneuver they can't follow you see he's a smart player he decided to disengage if he followed me he would have definitely overshot me just like the previous Spitfire All right this is the same maneuver that I actually use this maneuver against um, a7M's, KI-84's, while I'm flying in a P-51 D-30, you know, D-5. This is the, uh, this maneuver, I can I can actually force Japanese uh, fighters into this high-speed dogfight where I, where I actually outturn them. So, now notice this. Notice how I don't follow him through, even though I can, I don't want to. You have you have to force him to play this speed, this game of energy, game of speed. Now, unlike last time, uh, where I just shallow dove, I'm, uh, this is a maneuver that I used to do against um, uh, Falcon 190s who are who are who are a little bit more thirsty. What I do is I split ass and force them to uh, follow me. When they force, when when they follow me. They have a very hard time try, trying to get their guns on me. They compress. They, they just, yeah, it's almost impossible. So, if I'm passing out here, trust me, I know he definitely passed out. So, I don't know if you guys can see it in the video, but I am following the little dot. There we go. And he's done. So, now we got that out of the way. This is, like, I want to show you its absolute strength that this fighter got that the previous Japanese fighters don't have and that is the ability to follow an enemy at high speeds without you know without losing the ability to um, control without blacking out as much and uh, this is absolutely this this fighter's strength right here and yeah and Honestly, I, I, I like this. This is why I always say that new players should play Japanese before they pick US because Japanese have a balance of turn fighters, turn sorry, turn fighters as well as uh, energy fighters. So you guys have this complete understanding where US is just mainly energy fighting. Now, this I, I need I need to show you guys this because um, I do believe it's. Um, Going against bombers, basically in any Japanese uh, fighter, except probably the J7, is pretty hairy. All right, I, I had to show you guys this because smart bombers, what they do is they nose down a bit, they gain speed. So when they gain speed, they got more gunner time trying to shoot you down. So you have to be careful of that. Other than that, this is a this is a very good all-around fighter and there's not many very good all-around fighters that's out there so hope you guys enjoy the video and watch me go work to work on this PBJ